savage And baby, I'm the baddest You fucking with a savage Can't have this, can't have this oh. And it'd be nice to me to take it easy on ya But now Hi, this is Bella Biker Coming back to you with a new video How are you guys, Rider fam? Hope you're doing well so I wanted to kind of give an introduction to what I have done today. So I know I mentioned in one of my last videos that I was thinking about trying to get a custom race suit. So that's why finally after about three years I made a decision to go with Heroic Racing Apparel in New Hyde Park, New York. And I actually met with Todd, the owner, who was able to measure me from pretty much my head all the way down to my ankle since I've been racing. Some of the concerns that I've had are the fact that the fit is not right. All right, so I'm on my way to Heroic Racing Apparel in New Hyde Park, New York to get a custom suit through Todd, who is a contact person that I got from another racer. And we are going to spend some time over there videotaping the whole process of what you need to do to get measured for your custom racing suit. Design and everything can be selected, but we'll go through the specifics when we get there. Um, so I just want to give you a quick clip, let you know that's where I'm on my way, and I'll see you guys when we get there. So I'm just pulling up in front of Heroic right now. Heroic is the name of the racing gear spot that we get a custom suit made. So just so you guys are aware, that's kind of what it looks like from the outside. So we are in Todd's workshop right now where he has some of his heroic racing suits hanging up over here. So we're here with Todd from Heroic and we are in the process of designing a new suit. So we just went through measurements and what have you when they were just doing a bunch of measurements to see what the length is going to be. I ended up having to put on a back protector so that the back protector could be measured over it so that it fit snugly in the suit. Now we're working on the design. I've learned over the years is if, if I can buy focus, if I can buy talent, if I can buy something that doesn't restrict me, mm -hmm. what's the value of that? Yeah. I quickly wanted to show you a clip of him measuring from the neck down with the back protector. This way you guys can see what it looks like. Hey, so I'm over here in trying on a suit right here just to see the fit. Um, so this is kind of what it looks like all the way around. It's actually really comfortable. Surprising. Yeah, the legs are so different. The other ones are so long that they Let's literally... I have to pull these all the way up in order to get them to fit. But so just probably in this area right here, it feels like it should be higher up or something. But I don't know. It's kind of hard. Like, it's pulling a little bit in the race position. So, I don't know what it looks like, so... Why are you laughing? Because it's funny. It's not funny. No, when you're doing this, the squats and all that. Well, you know how it goes. I know. Has it fit like on the arms, the shoulders, and all that? The arms are good. Um... But see, with, with the the heroic suit, what I do is on the the women's is I cut out the profile of the chest. Mm -hmm. it, you can see it here as well is that on the other suits that you try try, try on, they bring leather right down and in, in to this area. Yes. And what I do is I I bring the Kevlar right down the front of the arm. Uh -huh. I, I cut out mm -hmm. the action area. Right. So that when you move your arm, it doesn't cut off your circulation. See, 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 see that yeah. there? Yep. Yeah. And so That's good. At, yeah. He's right. It does cut off my circulation usually. Like also, what I do is, this right here is where your, obviously your, your, your wrist is. Yeah. And the sleeves usually come down to here, yes. if not longer, in and off the rack. And what happens is, you know, you're constantly pushing the leather back and it's doing this wrinkling here. Yes. So what I do with, with mine is I bring them back an inch and a half behind your your wrist. Mm -hmm. I bring the foot, I bring the glove of foot back, and then your your sleeve runs loose and it floats on the end of your sleeve. Oh, okay. So you, you can see, you know, the glove, the sleeves are intentionally short. Same thing at the bottom, right? Intentionally short, and I only want to run an inch and a half to two inches down to your boots. A lot of guys just like, oh, those heroic suits never fit anybody. That's how it's supposed to fit. You can see that when she slowly starts, goes to squat down. Yeah. See how everything just tuck, yeah. tuck, tucks yeah. in her lap. Yeah. Yeah. And yep. like stand up again. You see how the the Kevlar just folds. Right. Sit down again. Yes. Isn't that cool? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. No wrinkling on the side. Very interesting. Yeah. Look. 
I mean, I, the suit looks really good on you, though. Like, really good. So for the track, for you track riders or people that are out there trying to get on track for the first time, you can get a race suit from Dionysi or any of these other firms out there. Now for you women riders out there that have curves in different areas and may have an issue trying to find the right size, I mean we come in a lot of different shapes and sizes, so I think one of the benefits of having a custom race suit to get something that's gonna fit you more custom. So it'll fit those curves and hips. So I noticed that for me with Dionysi suits, um, they don't fit in the butt, they don't fit in the hip because I'm a little bit more curvier than maybe a European fit. Um, and then I would find myself going bigger where then as if it fits in the chest area or in the hip area, it will fit bigger in the arm area and it's too long, which is a concern that I've had. Some of the comfortable factor is lost. He actually does alterations as well, which is pretty awesome considering the fact that, uh, you know, you can get a suit fitted and then like if you gain weight or you lose weight, they can actually take it in or let it out um, to or repair it if you ever go down on track to actually fix it and make it better. So I think it's just a great opportunity if you guys uh, can invest in something like this. Um, a lot of the times these custom suits are amazing. A lot of attention to detail. You can upgrade certain armors in the shoulders and the elbows, the, the forearm, the back protectors. It's, it's all measured so that it would fit with what it is that you need to accommodate with. So I went over to a shop today. What a great experience. What a great guy. It took about three and maybe three hours to kind of talk to me, just explain how it is that it works, um, why some people use particular types of uh, leathers as opposed to others, and the price range that goes anywhere. A normal race suit would be that's not custom all the way up to design custom suit. You also uh, can customize it, which is pretty awesome. You know, one of the things that I, a big fan of the Ducati bikes and, and my, my new helmet, as you guys know, my AGV. Um, you know, I wanted that to be incorporated into the patches or the styling of the actual suit so he's able to like kind of list that and go off of that and design it and that's kind of all included in the price. So if you guys are interested in doing something very unique, on Instagram they are located at Heroic, H-E-O-R-I-C Racing. So you can look him up, his name is Todd. Um, on his website, I'm reading it right here, it says we make custom race leathers, jackets, and the baddest gloves that you can wreck in. So you can also go to their Facebook page as well. I'll link all of that information on the bottom bar below, but I will also let you guys know through my Instagram page because I'll be tagging them during the process. And, and some of the things that he said that educated me tremendously on what a custom race suit is all about. If you really want something that's gonna fit, it's gonna give you the protection that you want, look into some custom racing, apparel companies that are either near you or maybe giving Todd a call so that you can get a custom suit as well. As I said before, Bella Biker, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you comment, you like and subscribe because it definitely helps me out or Twitter, Facebook, I'm there. I'm there for you to answer your questions. I want you guys to make sure that you ride safe and I'll see you on track. Take care.